marks. Thank you, sir. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, our Cabinet Secretary for Defense, Honorable Duale, the Chair of the Parliamentary Committee on Defense and Foreign Relations, Honorable Koech, Vice Chief of Defense Forces, Service Commanders, the Area Member of Parliament, General Officers, both serving and retired, and Your Excellency, I want to acknowledge the presence of retired CGS, CDF, uh, General Sam Modede. Uh, the others would have wished to be with us, but uh, because of uh, other engagements, they were not able. I also recognize the uh, senior uh, retired generals of the Kenya Air Force. I would kindly request them to stand so that we acknowledge you. Thank you very much. Senior officers, service members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, your Excellency, let me first of all, on behalf of the KDF fraternity, and in particular the Kenya Air Force, say how grateful we are to you and how delighted we are that you could be able to grace this occasion out of your very busy schedule. We don't take it for granted. We thank you very much, Your Excellency. As we celebrate a milestone of profound significance, this 60th anniversary of the Kenya Air Force, this occasion is not merely a commemoration of six dec decades of existence, but it is a testament to the resilience, dedication, and commitment of the men and women who serve and who have served this great service to provide great, this great nation securities, security in the skies. Your Excellency, also at this juncture, let me take opportunity to recognize and thank you very much that in your wisdom, you gave the K KDF first service uh, female uh, first uh, female as a service commander, and the Kenya Air Force, <laughs> Major General Fatuma Gaiti Ahmed. I'm not quite sure, but I think it is the, one, the only one in Africa and probably in the world as well. So thank you, Your Excellency, for that honor. We extend our heart, heartfelt congratulations to the entire Kenya Air Force for, on this remarkable milestone. As we gather here, we are reminded of the humble beginnings of the Air Force, which was established in 1964, shortly after our independence. From those early days, marked by aspiration and determination, the Kenya Air Force has grown to a formidable force, renowned not only within our borders, but across Africa and beyond. The Kenya Air Force has continually demonstrated excellence in its core mandates, that is defending and maintaining sovereignty of our space, airspace. She has continued to ensure success in joint operations, working and supporting the Kenya Army, the Kenya Navy, and other uh, uniformed and armed services in the Republic through operations such as Linda Inchi and within the oper continued operations in ATMIS. The Kenya Air Force has also conducted many missions in support of national 
humanitarian and disaster response, both within the country but also in the region. The case in point is the evacuation of Kenyan nationals from Sudan when that country uh, found itself in turmoil. In recent years also, we have witnessed the Kenya Air Force grow in terms of capabilities with, through Your Excellency's government, uh, the Kenya Air Force modernization program has seen the introduction of new, more capable aircraft, thus enhancing our national defense and also through training facilities that continue to develop our human capital. The strength of the Air Force, Your Excellency, is not just in the equipment that we have, but more importantly, in the high quality human capital that we have quality of pilots, the engineers that maintain and technicians that maintain the aircraft, logisticians, medical personnel that take care of those professionals. And Your Excellency, let me recognize the role that the families continue to play and support those of us that serve and ensure that when we serve, we do not have other issues to worry about because our families have been taken care of and they are behind us. In particular, Your Excellency, let me recognize that the welfare of the KDF the personnel has been very well enhanced in line with your national agenda. Housing for the troops is being addressed and in the next few years we, shall, we are rolling out and will continue to roll housing units in our barracks. The first target is 10,000 units that Your Excellency has ensured that it will happen. Also recognize the high quality medical facilities again in line with your national agenda to take care of our soldiers. Your Excellency, the global environment and the regional environment continue to witness emerging and morphing uh, threats to national security. More, one of the most important is the threat posed by climate change, which is a threat to the environmental security in our country with follow-on effects on food security, economic security, and others. As you have tasked us, Your Excellency, the KDF will take the lead in ensuring that environmental security will be achieved as per your targets and therefore secure our future generations to ensure that the country survives and thrives in the future. Your Excellency, at this point, as we celebrate this significant milestone, let us also remember those, those of us our colleagues that have paid the ultimate price in the service of our nation. Their legacy lives on in the freedoms that we enjoy and in the secure skies above us. We honor their memory by continuing to uphold the highest standards of duty, discipline, professionalism, and excellence in everything that we do. In conclusion, Your Excellency, this anniversary is not just a celebration of the past, but a beacon of the future. The advancements in technology, training, and strategic capabilities that the Kenya Air Force has embraced are a promise of continued excellence and readiness to face any future challenges. We look forward to many more of successful missions, innovations, 
achievement and the continued defense of our beloved nation's airspace. We had the sound of freedom today, and we believe we shall continue hearing that sound of freedom as we protect the skies. Your Excellency, with those words, it is now my distinct honor, privilege, and duty to invite Your Excellency to address the Kenya Air Force and the nation at large as we celebrate Kenya Air Force at 60. Your Excellencies. 